Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Um before I get started here, uh I realized that I forgot someone very important on the sidebar, so let's flip a few switches here and uh, there we go. Yeah, Starly has proven to be a pretty good character, so yeah, it's kind of a shame that I didn't put her on the border earlier, but better late than never. Anyway, the story here. Number 24. How do you unlock number 24? Well, there's three requirements. Number one, get all the chests. You know, all the chests and uh, secrets and stuff and levels. But we already got that. Beat Mash Tooth. We already did that. But there's one thing we haven't done, and it is the final requirement. Play all the mini games. So here, oh, they're not unlocked on here yet. Oh, um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I thought they would unlock once I would unlock them on the map, but I guess not. So let's go back to the Sogwood Forest for mini game one, a fishing derby. Oh yeah! So let's meet up with Mini G here. Yep, here is the guy. Hee <laughs> hee! You certainly are lucky to run into me, Mini G. How about a fantabulous mini game or five? What do you say? Uh, now nah, I really don't want to unlock that last movie. Really? Well, let me know if you change your mind. I've changed my mind. <laughs> you certainly. Are. Oh, he's repeating himself. Oh, that's too bad. Too bad. Oh yeah. I was hoping you'd say that mini game, a Kadabra. That's really cheesy. <laughs> so, since this is a stylus based mini game, in fact, they all are a stylus based mini game. I'm gonna be using my fancy schmancy bamboo capture tablet here, and yeah, it's going to be sweet. So anyway, let's uh, look through the rules here. Slide your stylus on the touch screen to the fish to cast your line. It's gonna be kind of difficult because there's no screen. Um, Line between them. When you see an exclamation point, slide the stylus to re reel in the fish. I like to slide it back. Do not overfill the gauge or you will regret it. Yeah. So let's get this started here. Remember, there's a border between screens here, but you can't really see on the emulator. Just, uh, yeah. Actually, it's kind of hard. Oh, wait, there's actually no border on this? Really? I'm kind of. Wait, how come some things have like a transition between screens, but this one doesn't? That doesn't make much sense. I'm not really complaining because that makes aiming a whole lot easier than even on the original DS. Okay, I got a fish. I got a fish. Watch that gauge. Watch. No, no. There we go. And that is how you get points. By the way, there's multiple difficulties of this, but they didn't really let me choose difficulties, did they? <laughs> Come on, fish. Fish. Uh, my my line is very delicious. Oh, there's a slight transition between screens. I see that, but it's not very very um very strong of a transition between screens. Okay, fish. Mm, mm. Yes. Bring in the fish. Ooh, that was close. Careful, careful. Bring it. Come on. Yes. Ooh, golden fish. Mm -hmm. To the corner. There's more fish there. Come on. My, my line is very delicious. Look at that, it's, it's got a delicious worm on it, or whatever the heck is on this thing. I know it's delicious, and you definitely want to eat it, all of you. Oh, there's the screen transition. <laughs> and there we go. Obviously, this is on like easy mode. Oh, big shadow, big shadow, you definitely want the big shadow. I'm actually going to reel this in before any fish get to that, because I really want the big shadow. Big shadow is also hilarious. Big shadow, come on, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! Yes! What could that big shadow be, you wonder? Well, I guess we will see now, won't we? <laughs> it's Mo! <laughs> and capturing him, well, not really capturing him, so to speak, but getting him all the way over to Starfy will give you a good bonus in points, and there's Starly- Oh no, there's Mo again! There's Starly feeding the fish! You gotta feed the fish so that you can catch them and fry them up as a fish fry, I suppose. <laughs> yeah! Or sushi! 
Whatever you like, whatever your preferred fish meal is. Come on, come on, there we go. Yes! Get Mo in before time runs out. 34 seconds left. Mo takes the longest, but he's probably worth it in terms of time conservation and points per second. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Must get more fish. Must feed family. No. Oh, no, 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 wait. No. Nah, it's not in range of any fish's vision. Arr. Mo, can I get you in time? Oh, and yes, the faster you slide the stylus, the further your um, uh, bait will go. Well, bobber will go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's not going to make it. Not going to make it. Oh, but I won by a landslide. <laughs> so I guess it doesn't really matter in the long run. Is on screen. I don't even know why they gave suspense there unless you weren't paying attention to the points at the end of the results screen. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna quit that mini game and go back to the map so no more stylus here. And where were the other two located? I think there was one in stage seven. I don't remember where the I mean, where the other one was located. Was it uh, maybe it was the Glitzum Grotto? Uh, no. Skydive Heights. This is in a trial and error. This and there we go. S number two, Sand Tracer. Of course, another stylus space mini game. They all are. So I'm gonna have to whip that back out when I get back to Mini G and the mini game thing here. Haha. <laughs> Uh, you are very lucky indeed to have found one of my challenges. For now, you can try your hand in one of my FemCAD do some antabulous mini games. No thanks. I just want to see if you have new dialogue. What? You don't want to play my mini game? What nonsense is this? Well, if you change your mind. I like how he's inside a jellyfish, like he's been eaten, but yet at the same time he's not been eaten. It's like they have a mutual relationship of no digestion and f just friendly, uh, whatever the heck he is, and jellyfish relationship. <laughs> Um. Uh, anyway, uh, no thanks. Oh. No, I really want to play this time. <laughs> I'm just joking around there. All right, let's play Sand Tracer. Ready? Stylus. Yep. All you have to do is draw around the outline of what you see, and you'll make a character pop out of the sand. And there's also a thing where you can steal points um, whenever you have the opportunity to, whenever you see Mo's icon above somebody, you can steal that if you do it, um, if you time yourself with it, but typically you want to uh, go as, oh shoot, this is going to be tricky on this tablet, yeah, I thought so, <laughs> but typically you want to do it as, just as fast as you can in general. Because, you know, the faster you go, the more your points you'll get in general, and yeah, that's in the aim of the game. Although, you, uh, stealing points can be a strategic decision, and I could definitely do this a lot faster if I was on the actual DS, I assure you. But I think I'll be good enough for them, because it doesn't look like the, diff uh, the computers are on a very high difficulty here. And you don't have to be perfect on that, as you can see, you just have to be within the general vicinity of the lines and uh, uh, whenever you get a difficult formation like that you can get two or three points it's another uh, thing that you can do so whenever you see something difficult make sure to be careful on that so that you can get a jump on your opponents although they'll also be trying to do the same thing so maybe maybe you still want to be as quick as possible mm -hmm. Just keep going at a nice steady pace, don't make any mistakes like ah, mm, <laughs> I'm already I'll oh, shoot. Oh that's okay, it worked. I'm already pretty decently far ahead. What difficulty are they com these computers at anyway? Because you can play them on multiple difficulties on the minigame screen. Ooh, chance for a steal. Just watch where you wanna steal from and like there. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> I wanted to steal it from the one with the most points, and you gotta draw it properly in order to do a steal. <laughs> yeah! Come on, Swabby! Swabby, Swabby! Yeah! 10 seconds, chance for a steal. Can I get. <laughs> I rushed it, I admit, I rushed it. 
because I knew that seconds, I mean time was getting tight. Ah, I was still won by a landslide. <laughs> oh well, so I missed a couple. I still won, even with my handicap of not being able to play on an actual DS. <laughs> Alright, back to the map. Alright, so the last one is at the SS Logwater. Well, the last unlockable one is at the SS Logwater. There's still two more minigames in the minigame menu. Here we go, minigame 3, Depth Chargers! Get hyped, get psyched, because you've got to do an arthritis-inducing movement to beat your opponents. Ha, you're very lucky indeed to have gotten my challenge. For now, you can try one of my fantabulous minigames. Um... Nah. No, I, I, I do like fun, actually, so let's let's do that. <laughs> yeah, you, you really don't have anything else to say, do you? Hmm. Very well, let the game begin! Slide the stylus up and down to dive deeper. That's pretty much all you do for the whole thing. Whoever dives the deepest wins. Very simple. Let's do this. Get yourself charged up. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do this when I have to stay within the borders of a screen that doesn't have any actual borders. I mean, yeah, it does have borders, but <laughs> it's not like playing on a DS screen, let me tell you. I think uh, I was able to get like in the 500s on the actual DS screen because I had the borders to sort of bounce off of. But yeah, it's a really, really quick mini game to play. Very simple to play, but yeah, very quick. Because it's very quick, let's play it one more time. <laughs> let's get the arthritis going. Let's see if we can really. I don't know how much I can do this though because I don't have the border of the screen to bounce off of, and that's like my rhythm. How high can I get the sucker? Can I go like off the border of the screen? I don't know if, that, don't know if that'll work. <laughs> yeah, that probably won't work. Well, maybe it is working actually. I should try that one more time, like going off the border of the screen. Even though I'm not able to do that on the actual DS. But because I don't have the borders of the actual DS, it's not like playing on the actual DS. One more time, it's really, really short. Here we go. Off the borders! <laughs> it's my stylus. Pointer is probably going so fast you can't really see much of it, but I'm, I assure you I'm going up and down. Go, Starfy, go! I'm probably wearing off the tip of my stylus! Oh, stylus, you're smoking! Are you okay? Okay, just blew out the fire. <laughs> Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> Back to the map here. And... Yep. For some reason, I thought I was on land there, and I was <laughs> I was gonna jump on there, but now I swam I swam on top of said mini game uh, plunger thingamabob. Anyway, now let's go to the mini games. Look at that. There's new. There's new. There's new. It's the ones that I unlock, basically. Yeah. <laughs> But we already have uh, Coin Slinger and the Dumpling Master out here, so let's, uh, I mean, we already played Sand Tracer, Death Chargers, and Fishing Derby, and you already seen I had Coin Slinger and Dumpling Master unlocked, but we haven't played those, so let's play them. I wonder if I should give myself a handicap, because I'm playing on something that's not a DS. Nah, I'll play it on hard. <laughs> Tap the coins that match your color. If you shoot several coins in a row, some bonus balloons will appear. <laughs> Come on, let's go faster. But if you shoot a coin of a different color, it'll change into a slot coin. Time yourself to touch your color. Don't shoot a slot coin of a different color. Oh, you'll lose points in big red bold letters. All right, is there gonna be a transition between screens on this? I don't know. I don't. Well, there might be. Not well, yep, there is. Uh, mm, there. Give me yellow. Oh, I was touching the top screen. Whoopsie. <laughs> See, this is the issue of not having a borders between screens. <laughs> yeah. Let's 
going to pay attention to the yellow. Uh, oh, oh, bonus, yes, sir. I'm going to lose so badly on this. <laughs> Computers on hard are pretty aggressive. And, oh, oh, oh yes, yes. And the coins are pretty predictable and how, I mean, unpredictable and how they bounce, by the way, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> So it's kind of hard to tell where they're going to be, unless you practice really hard and watch them through the air. Like, you have your eyes all around the screen at once, and I'm doing pretty badly here, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I'd win that. <laughs> I failed! <laughs> yeah, I'll play it one more time. It's relatively short. Should I have changed difficulty though? Probably. By the way, shooting those coins won't do anything. You should have just got to shoot them when they are a. Uh, uh, actually, I probably should be shooting all the other colors just to turn them into a slot coin and then prevent the opponents from getting points. Yeah, I, I think that works a little better than <laughs> I forgot that strategy entirely. Like, how did I forget that? I've played this game many times before. I have beat all these mini games on all their. Uh, their highest difficulties, so uh, yeah, um, it, it's just the thing of it's a little different playing on the emulator than it is on the actual uh, console. Uh, well, handheld. Well, then again, technically a handheld is a console. I still fail. I still got last place. <laughs> oh well, but you see how that game plays. God, it's good. Other mini games then. Last one, Dumpling Master, oil the fryer, pour the batter, toss in some octopus, and cook up some scrumptious dumplings. That sounds delightful. Ready? Just go from left to right in order here. Just do six at a time, by the way. And once you see them fill up with oil, you can pour that in, plop in the octopus, and then start stirring like that when they start bubbling. I'm only doing six at a time because if you because you can only like manage six at a time. Um, you gotta keep flipping them, otherwise they'll burn. But uh, turn them when they steam like that. Basically, it's they're 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 the indicator. And once they're done, they're gonna go over to Starfies. Go to the topping screen, throw on the toppings any which way you please, and do it as quickly as possible. And there we go. Go back to the grill. Oil, oil, oil. Go, 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 go. We gotta cook. We are. A short order chef of legend. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? what? Oh, I didn't oil that one enough. Dang it. Urgh. Okay, go, 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 go. Wait, wait, wait. I did that for. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. It's gonna burn. Gonna burn. Gonna burn. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I made it. I made it. Yes. And yeah, when they start flashing like that, they're gonna burn, and yeah. <laughs> Just watch carefully for said steam. There we go. Got the pick. Got the toppings. This is rather lengthy, by the way. It's yeah, it's kind of a long mini game for all that you have to do. <laughs> uh, there we go, back to the grill. Oil, go. You gotta cook as fast as possible. Gotta make as many dumplings as you possibly can. Get the pick out. Start flipping. Mm -hmm. Try to do it in a rhythm that you can memorize, so that you don't like do things in the wrong order, and then yeah, you kind of mess up where like the stuff that you need to flip and pop out of the fryer. Yeah. Go, 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 topping. Mmm, shake seaweed. Let's go. I don't know what this is, actually. But I know it's topping. And there we go. Back to the grill. Go. <laughs> yeah, that oil, it's, uh, uh... You can tell when you're done oiling when it, um... When, it, when you can't oil it no more, and then there's the, uh... uh like, you can tell the border is no more oily than it was before when you keep oiling over it. Yeah. Oh, did I flip them too early? Yes, I did. Just tap to flip. You don't have to actually stir that one. To the topping station! <laughs> yeah, you can do more than uh, six at a time, but I, I, I bet there's a way to be more efficient with this. Like, maybe you can multitask between the grill and the topping to get more out of that. But I don't really know how to do that. I haven't been able to figure that out. Uh, if you know how, tell me. 
And I'd like to hear that, because I've never really been able to figure that out before. I'd like to see if I can maximize my score one of these days, because this seems like the kind of minigame that uh, you could max out the score on, and I'm not going to get enough dumplings of time, am I? <laughs> anyway, that's all for the minigames. Yeah! Oh yeah! Oh. It's actually not all that easy. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it, it takes a little bit of work to get used to this. Uh, at least it did for me. So maybe it, maybe it's different for you. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, now, now, now. What? It's not unlocked. Why? I played all the mini games. Do I have to play all the mini games on this screen then? Like, t like, do I have to play all the ones that are marked as new? Just because you're on the minigame menu? I guess I'll see you when I do that. <laughs> well, I replayed them all, so let's go back to the said story screen and see if it's unlocked now. Um, yep. Oh, no, what? What? Uh... I guess it's not. What? I thought there was... I thought I did all the requirements. I mean, I definitely got all the chests, beat Mash Tooth, and played all the mini games. Hmm. Well, there's extra stuff to do later on. I mean, there's still more stuff to do in general, so I guess I'll save that story for the next part, but I'm kind of thrown here because I didn't. Because I haven't unlocked that before. Hmm. 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 <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.